Here I'm going to talk to you about simple interest, how to calculate it in Excel, and then a uh, very quick little trick that you can use to calculate it even faster using a formula. So let's talk a little bit about what simple interest is. I'm using um, pretty basic numbers here, so it should be a little easier to understand. The principal $100, let's say that's how much I have in a bank or some type of investment. And the interest rate for that investment or that principal amount is 5%. Now if I'm using simple interest calculation um, to calculate how much money I'm going to have a number of years in the future, all I have to do is to take 5% of the original principal $100 and add that every year. So let's say that I have $100 at the beginning of year one. I get my interest at the end of year one, $5, 5%. So I have a total of $105. Now year two, I have $105 at the beginning of year two, right? Because I got paid for my interest in year one. So I have $105 but my interest payment is still only five dollars for year two because when calculating simple interest payments you're only going to calculate the interest dollar amount based on the original principal amount so since my starting amount was one hundred dollars and my interest is five percent the interest amount for every year no matter what is five dollars when using simple interest so every year my investment will grow by five dollars. So you can see right here. Now, um, the way I simply calculated this was to say equals five dollars plus one hundred. The other way to do it is one plus five percent times one hundred. And then for every year below, all that I did was add five to the previous year. And that's how you can calculate it down. So if I wanted to go to year four, five, six, just like that. So once again, the interest amounts here, these are all in dollar amounts because I've already calculated them. You can see I've already multiplied to 5% by the principal. And all I'm doing here is adding the interest to last year's total. So let me show you um, a quick way to do this with a formula now. That's a table. You're probably not going to want to use that. Kind of annoying, right? But you most likely need to know it at least uh, if you're watching this. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna make some stuff up here, and let's talk about the future value function right here. I've got the syntax for it listed so you can reference it as often as you need, and it's simply you need a rate, number of periods, the payment, present value, and the type. Now to calculate the simple interest, we're not gonna need to use all of this, so let's go ahead and um, look right here. This is what the basic formula is going to look like. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Equals FV, open parentheses. Now the first thing that we need is the rate. But since this is simple interest, there is no rate. It doesn't increase at all. Simply type zero for the rate. Remember, it's simple interest. That's why the rate is zero, comma, the number of periods. Well, in this example, let's do it for three years. So our number of periods is three. Now, if you're not using years, say you're using months or um, quarters, anything like that, that would be your number of periods. Just make sure that you adjust the interest and the payment for that period. I'll talk later about that in a more advanced tutorial. But for now, we want to calculate it for three years, number of periods, comma, what's our payment? Well, our payment is 5% of the principal right so our interest right here our interest payment five dollars every year so if you get confused just remember to get your payment number you have to multiply the interest amount by the principal amount that gives you the payment the next thing is to figure out or to enter the um, present value so comma there we go the present value is the principal or the original amount that you first entered or that you first invested so for us, it is $100. Now we don't need to worry about type in this case or anything like that. So simply hit enter and we get $115. Now you may be wondering why this is negative. And if you're used to using a financial calculator to do these types of calculations, you'll remember that you need to input the present value 
as a negative amount. That gives you a positive result on your calculator. In Excel, however, the easy way to get around it is to simply enter a negative sign in front of the future value function. That negative sign makes it a positive number. So don't try and put a negative sign in front of the present value and later in front of the future value. Just put it in front of the function and it will take care of it. So that's um, pretty much what simple interest is, how you can calculate it by hand if you have to, and um, how you can use the future value function to calculate the interest, simple interest.